Peace, family. How y'all doing today? We're going to talk about some sleep today. In the way. Peace, family. What I just did. How y'all doing today? We're going to talk about some sleep today. Oh, there it is. Get out of there. All right, we good. Okay. All right. Okay, okay, okay. What's going on, everybody? How y'all feeling today? Um, we're going to talk about sleep today and uh, why, if you don't get it, it's making you sick, how it's making you sick, and how you can finally start to sleep like a god because that's what you are. And we're going to get into the art of how to do it, what to take, um, what's going on, why, why you don't feel good, why you're getting sick. And it's all because of sleep. It's all because you're not getting to bed on time and you're not getting enough of it and you don't understand the value and the art of it because um, what's happening is uh, some amazing things in your sleep that I feel like a lot of y'all are missing. Like, so we really got to get into that subject today. Um, all right. I wanted to just get in. I really, I really was thinking about this uh, this week. I'm like, man. Yo, people ain't sleeping and people think that, you know, your chase, your endless chase for money is really beneficial for you. Meanwhile, it's killing your health. And we understand right now that if the doctor that you're probably going to run and go to when you get sick um, is going to say is, you know, he's going to be like, you know, you got to pay this amount in order to get better. You be give, you give up all that money. You just worked your ass off for it. So we're gonna get into that today. I hope everybody's uh good. I hope y'all staying focused, you know. Um peace, peace, peace. Yeah, Jenny. Um, we're gonna get we're gonna get into that. We're gonna get into that today. Okay. Sleep, 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 sleep. Okay. I hope y'all been diving deep. I hope um I hope a lot of y'all have gotten into the books, some of the books that I referred to you last week, uh, because they're very good reads. And they will change your perspective entirely. And instead of taking everybody else's perspective, it will give you your own personal insight because I believe that that's the most important. The, you know, the, 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 when by reading, it's like, you know, it's like your, your brain allows itself to finally put pieces together that would not be put together by listening to another individual give you what they learned off of the book. It's very important to see what you learned off of the book. All right. Okay. Peace, 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 peace. We're gonna wait till more people get on here. If y'all on, if you're if you're in the building, okay, because we're gonna talk about some downloads today. If you're in the building right now, I need you to give me a like. Please give me a like, shoot me a like. You know, they don't take much effort. I would love to have a like. Okay. Bing. We'll call it a day. Okay. Now, before I get into um the sleep and everything and how to improve upon it and how to be able to receive more downloads. We're going to talk about um, what happens when you finally get to the state of real actual sleep. Now, what happens when you get to a state of real actual sleep, if you are who you are, and we all know who you are who you are, whether you believe it or not, um, you're going to start being, there, uh, communications will start to happen. But the problem is you have to get sleep, real actual sleep, not that half sleep, real actual sleep in order to get communications. There's a lot of traction going on, on this planet Earth, and I feel like a lot of y'all are missing it. Uh, a lot of y'all aren't getting the downloads you're supposed to because you're blocked. And a lot of people need to really understand what's actually going on. But in order to properly understand it, you got to take your ass to bed. OK. <laughs> This endless chase of money is 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 like you got to do it smart. Like work work smart, not hard. Okay, y'all missing sleep. That's corny. I like to get my sleep. I don't care what y'all talk about. Okay, all right. Now let's get into the first factor. When you get sleep, there's something secreted at night, which is called melatonin, which is produced by the pineal gland. And what you read here is it serves as a time cue in the biological clock and promotes sleep anticipation in the brain default mode network. Now, let's talk about that real quick. Melatonin, right? Now, 
to get a understanding of melatonin, you should read this book. Everybody should read this book to understand what's really healing your body at night when you're sleeping. Okay. And it's just secreted at night in the pineal gland by the pineal gland. Now, melatonin is basically the total reason why your body is healing altogether. Okay. When you're not secreting melatonin, then you're not properly healing your body. Let's say you go to the hospital and you pay this hospital all this money. All you're paying them to use is your own melatonin. Now, if you're an African-American individual, if you're a melanated being, okay, not African-American, all people that have melanin, okay, everybody who has melanin, Spanish, okay, um, you know, Mexican, Asian, it's just degrees of melanin, but all of us have melanin. The only one that has that doesn't have enough enough melanin that produces the melatonin that the individual needs are Caucasians, which is why they have to buy melatonin in stores. If you are a melanated individual, you do not have to buy melatonin. That is not for you. As a matter of fact, melatonin is basically crushed up pineal glands of melanated individuals. That's what melatonin is. Okay. Now, melatonin is something that needs to be secreted when you're asleep. But if you're not sleeping or you're not sleeping enough, how is melatonin secreted? It's not, right? So how are you going to properly heal? And then when you wake up in the morning after about four hours taking your power sleep because you're powerful and all this stuff, you have decreased your body's chances of immunity. It's like when you, okay, here's the thing, right? When you sleep, you have increased melatonin. You're operating more efficiently, right? When you don't sleep, what happens is this. Let me tell let me show y'all what happens real quick. Okay. Basically, when you do not sleep, okay, it stops the brain from being able to make new memories because memory inbox will shut down in the brain and you cannot commit new memories to experience. Okay, people? So you're gonna need to sleep because if you're dreaming, y'all, and you're supposed, you cannot get into your dream state unless you're in your REM cycle. It's called REM is short for a rapid eye movement cycle, okay? REM is when you actually dream. A lot of you are telling me that you go to bed and you don't remember any of your dreams. That's because you're not getting enough sleep, all right? So you have to sleep for at least six to eight hours every night. Well, how come I can't, I can't get six to eight hours in, coach? Well, figure it out because this is just science, okay? If you don't get sleep, you will not be efficient, you will not secrete enough melatonin, and you will decrease your chances of cancer-fighting cells, which increase your chance of breast cancer, prostate cancer, colon cancer, and any kind of cancers Caucasian is named, okay? These are cancers that will happen to you, okay, when you do not get sleep, because when you are sleeping, your body's answer cancer cancer fighting cells are increased but literally after one single night of deprived sleep you lose 70% of your cancer fighting cells after one night so right now when you people are sleeping and you can't get to sleep what's happening you're fucking yourselves up now let's talk about something else because a lot of y'all are seriously stressed and depressed like crazy. Y'all, y'all sad right now. You know, you want to know why? Because of your serotonin. You're not able to make serotonin, which stabilizes your mood, feelings of well-being, happiness, and this hormone impacts your entire body and enables brain cells and other nervous system for cell communication. Now, 90% of serotonin is made where, y'all? Where is it made? In the gut. Well, let me let me tell y'all something real quick, right? Let me tell y'all something real quick. When you are up at night, what do you crave? You crave sugar. Damn, why do I crave sugar the later I stay up? Why am I craving like carbohydrates? Why do I crave something with protein and nutrients, right? Well, the longer you stay asleep, your glucose levels increase, right? Your glucose levels increase. And when your glucose levels increase, you want more 
carbohydrates, right? You want more carbs, chips, cookies, cakes, bread, all that stuff. And then what do you do? You sit there and you give your body more chips, cakes, cookies, and whatever snacks that you have. Because when your glucose levels increase, you do not crave more protein-filled, uh, nutrient-dense food. What you start to crave is things that just fill you up quick. Also, when you're sleeping, your cortisol level increases as well, okay? Let's talk about your cortisol level. Your cortisol level is, the, is basically the main stress hormone. So, so, so basically, you're eating things that you're putting into your gut because you're not eating the right things. So that means your natural serotonin and mood stabilizers are decreased. Then you're eating carbohydrates, right? And your glucose levels are increasing. And glucose is basically things that carry sugar through your bloodstream. So you have an intense amount of sugar flowing through your bloodstream, which spikes your insulin, increases your chances of diabetes, all right? High blood pressure, high cholesterol, because while your body's supposed to enter into a detoxification state, but it can't get there unless you're fasted for a period of time, then you have it, you can't even get rested sleep. Because why? You've eaten carbs before you went to bed. And before you went to bed by eating carbs, your body's in like an overdrive trying to process all that sugar. So while you think you're sleeping for eight hours after you had that big hoagie or that big cheesesteak, you're actually not sleep. You're in like a, a trance in between sleep and being and being awake, but you're not really sleep. You're just at a resting phase. You haven't entered into the rapid eye movement. You're in a rested phase. But when you go into the dream cycles, that's when your body's actually healing itself because you've left it. All right. I hope y'all, I hope y'all sticking with me. I'm trying to put y'all on some game real quick. Okay. Um, all right. Let's see. Let's get into some because I don't want to get all over the place because y'all know me. I get all over the place. Okay. Now we're talking about cortisol increase. So your stress is increased. We're talking about glucose. So now you have an increased chances of sugar because your sugar is flowing through your system at a rapid amount because you have tons of carbs. Now for all those carbs you ate, what is it giving you? Inflammation, inflammation. Now you got joint problems. You woke up. Now you're feeling stiff. How are you getting downloads when your body hasn't even rested properly? And this is like every night, y'all. So now what do you have? Because what happens is when you rate, okay, so let's talk about cortisol real quick, right? So cortisol is like fight or flight. So cortisol is what happens when your body goes through stress, your levels increase. And whenever you go through stress, because you haven't gone to sleep and your body knows you should be asleep, because we'll get into the circadian rhythm before this, well, after this point. But what happens is, I mean, I want to digress and I talk about circadian rhythm. But basically, when your cortisol level has risen, what happens? You store fat, okay? So when you eat that food with heightened cortisol levels, with heightened glucose levels, you're storing fat so you can't lose weight. Have you noticed when you do these things and you get less sleep, you're holding on to more stomach fat or ass fat or whatever your, or wherever your body decides to store fat? Because when you have increased cortisol, your cortisol tells your body you're in like a fight or flight, so it must preserve itself so it has to store fat. When your body goes into a state of preservation, it has to store fat. So in order to decrease cortisol levels, you're going to have to get to sleep. You're going to have to stop eating at least two or three hours before you go to bed, and we'll get into the next thing. Now, what? Ha okay, so have you ever heard of ghrelin or leptin? All right, you ever heard of ghrelin or leptin, right? Okay. Well, let's talk about ghrelin first, okay? So ghrelin is basically a hormone. It's they call it, okay. So ghrelin is basically the hunger hormone, okay? It's termed a hunger hormone because it stimulates appetite, increases food intake, and promotes fat storage. Well, guess what happens when you don't get the proper adequate sleep? Your ghrelin is thrown off and it does not tell you, it doesn't tell you when you're full, all right? It actually reverses and tells you that you're hungry all the time. 
What? Are you serious? And these people have engineered the food to such a degree that they can make things in the food which does not trigger your, well, that actually triggers your ghrelin and tells you you're hungry all the time. Wait a second. So coach, is this is why when I eat things that are healthy for me, I get full fast. And then when I don't eat things that are healthy for me, I can eat them until I, my stomach hurts. You're not supposed to be eating things until your stomach hurts, guys and gals. Okay. It's because they, they understand your human body and they make things in the food that triggers and turns things off. The thing they turn off is your leptin. And basically, your leptin, okay, basically tells you when you're full. I'll read the definition though. It's a mediator of long term regulation of energy balance, suppressing food intake, and thereby including weight loss. It basically tells you when you're full. So basically, leptin is basically turned off, ghrelin is turned on. So basically, you're hungry all the time and you're never full. What does that have? What does that, what does that make? It makes a fat motherfucker. You fat, right? Because you're eating shit at a period of time when your glucose levels increase, the later you stay up. So you're going to want more carbs, the later you stay up, right? And then you're ghrelin, okay? When you finally eat the food, that's not, it's like a trap. Like, it's like a trick. It's like a whole trap. So they understand, okay, they're going to stay up all night. Because we're going to give them this TV that's going to make them stay up all night. And then if they're working overnight, which many of you are working overnight, and we're going to get into working overnight, many of you are working overnight, so you're chasing the money, so you're not worried about yourself. So then when you go to the vending machine, because when I worked at Amazon, I was at the vending machine. And when I worked at Walmart, I was eating bullshit. Like I was eating the worst when I worked overnight for those six months that I worked overnight. I couldn't take it. I could not do it. I don't know how y'all do it. It's terrible for the body. But um, you go to the vending machines because your glucose levels has increased. If you're working in a warehouse job, you need more energy. So you're actually craving carbohydrates because your sugar is down. Because the later you stay up, regardless, the glucose is rising. And you're going to want carbs for the energy and the job you're doing. All right? So what happens is when you're eating that food, you have, you, okay, your leptin is not working. Your ghrelin is not working. So you're just eating, 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 and you're trashed. Like you're messed up. I'm telling you right now, you are messed up, all right? Okay, I haven't even read the comments, right? Yes, okay, so, <laughs> so Nikki, right? Nikki Naga, right? Well, that is what Gremlins, the movie, was about, all right? When you feed them overnight, they multiply, but that's not what happened. That's, it's not, it doesn't mean that, all right? It basically means, that when we go to sleep, right, as melanated individuals, when we go to sleep, we have a connection with the other realms. See, I don't sleep like many people. I travel. So when I'm actually gone and my I've, I've, le I've learned how to go into such of a deep sleep through the health, the proper herbs, nutrients, and proper pre preparation before I go, I go to bed that I am able to travel in my sleep to another world, another realm. I go to different dimensions. I get messages all the time. Extraterrestrials, which are my, which are your family, basically travels and talks to you every night. The problem is that when you do not sleep enough, your memory is turned off. Okay. I'm going to tell you one more time. Your memory is turned off. Read it again. A lack of sleep stops the brain from being able to make new memories because the memory inbox will shut down in the brain. You can't, you cannot commit new experience to memories like an email inbox. So imagine you're trying to send, so imagine your ancestors, right? are trying to send memories to you. They're trying to send things to you, but you only slept for about four hours. You think you're about to get a nice little spiritual sleep. You're about to travel or whatever, but you're not getting sleep, right? You're deprived. So as soon as they try to send that email to you, it bounces back to you and it says, uh, undeliverable, submission undeliverable. So when you wake up, even if you got something, you're going to forget as soon as you make up, wake up because your brain doesn't remember anymore because it's not working efficiently. Your body and your brain is not working efficiently. So you can't sleep. Now let's talk about working overnight real quick, y'all. 
because a lot of y'all work overnight and I'm not going to come at your neck about working overnight or nothing like that. I'm not going to do that. Okay. But I'm going to tell you what you're doing is totally against everything that you are as a melanated individual or a human, any human, whether you're white, black or whatever, working overnight is not for human people. The darker and the more melanin, well, not the melanin, because dark being because people like to think that the darker you are, the more melanin you have. The darker you are, the more melanocytes you have. So you can be like literally like a, a, a lighter, dark, a lighter melanated person, but you can have more melanin than people in Africa. Okay, you're mixed with more people from tribes, you have more melanin. But I'm not gonna get into that. But the more melanin that you have, the more working overnight will affect you. Because naturally. We have melatonin that's produced by our pineal gland, which basically heals everything in our body, our minds, our bodies, our muscles, our joints. It is the reason why we wake up sometimes and we have we just feel so rested, is because our melatonin is being produced because we eat food that gives our body the direct and correct nutrients that it needs. Okay. And we're gonna get into some things that you can actually take what you can actually do so you can properly get to the deepest sleep that you've ever had literally within about seven days after watching this video and doing exactly what I tell you by the end of this video. You will not have any more problems if you follow my instructions. You will sleep more rested than you ever did. And if you're working overnight, let's talk about it real quick. Now we have this thing called a circadian rhythm. You ever heard of it? Your circadian rhythm is basically your internal clock. It tells you it's day and it tells you it's night. So when it's night, your melatonin kicks in. When it's day, your serotonin kicks in as well, okay? And your serotonin basically is regulated by, uh, obviously, sunlight. So, you know, they want to, that's why they call, you know, like the winter season, the sad, the sad, you ever know the acronym for sad? Okay, well, obviously, it's you get depressed, basically, right? Because you have a lack of sun and you're not getting the, the heat and the waves from the sun. So you cannot produce as much energy as before. What happens is when you're working overnight, you're supposed to be asleep and your circadian rhythm is like, yo, you're supposed to be asleep and it's confused. And when one thing in this one, and when one system in the body is confused, all systems in the body are confused. Now the circadian rhythm is basically triggered by ambient light, sunlight, right? So you ever notice that when you wake up in the morning, you wake up, well, when you're tapped, like when you're starting to tap in through health, as soon as that sunlight hits your retinals, you wake up. The healthier you are, as soon as that shit hits your retinals, you wake up, right? I didn't want to, like on, on the weekends, I don't want to wake up at 5 a.m. as soon as the sunlight hit me. So I have to get like blackout curtains to trick my body that it's still night outside so I can get sleep. Or if I went to bed late and I know I got to get my eight hours in, I'll make sure I put the curtains up so y'all can do that too. You can put the curtains up in your room like to make it all dark because you're as soon as your retinal sees the ambient light, your body's going to tell you it's up and you're not going to be able to get a deeper sleep. Okay. I'm going to tell you that right now. But what also happens is people who, who are going to bed, if you're looking at this before you go to bed at night, well, the body still thinks it's daytime because your retinals are looking at this blue light. So what you can do if you want to look at a cell phone or a TV before you go to bed is get a pair of these joints, right? When you get these right here, okay, your body does not get the ambient light because you said these are blue blockers, right? These are blue blocking glass. I use these when I drive at night sometimes before I used to use the urine, right? The urine healed my eyes like, like crazy. So I don't need these anymore, right? But you can actually use blue light filter glasses that are like yellow because I just don't feel like the other glasses work as well as the yellow ones, right? So you might want to go ahead and get that too. Also, somebody else said blackouts. You want to get the black, the blackout, um, the sleep, the sleep, um, sleep mask, the blackout. I think you can get those too. If you're working overnight, you can really try that. But as as but so when you when you're driving home from work and you're out in the daytime, your brain basically is like, oh, we're up. 
but we didn't go to sleep. So what happens is this, your, your cortisol levels increase because it's stress and it's like, yo, I'm supposed to be asleep. Now I'm like on 24 hours and no sleep. Oh, hell nah. And then you sit there, you try to go to sleep and then you hear everybody outside in the day. You got people mowing their lawns. You have people opening and shutting doors. You got all that. So what are you? You're more irritable. So now you're more stressed. You're more snappy. Your mood is off. All that stuff. I got these from Amazon, y'all. All right. Just look to school on Amazon. I got it from Amazon. All right. Definitely. Definitely. I got it from Amazon. Um, but those are some of the things you can do if you work overnight, because if you're over, if you work overnight, you are definitely your body's definitely in a stress state, which causes all of your all of your issues. They say they're pre-existing. They're not pre-existing. You're making them exist right now. OK, I'm just letting you know right now. OK, if you are if you are a melanated individual and somebody's telling you, you have to take melatonin, you do not have to take melatonin. You produce the highest amount of melatonin in the world. And where they get their melatonin from in stores is crushed up pineal glands from you. All right. You do not need melatonin. All you have to do is take things, eat things that make your pineal gland secrete enough melatonin so that when you properly can get to sleep, and we're going to talk about getting to sleep and things you can take to get to sleep, you will be able to get to the deepest sleep ever and you will get these messages. You'll, get, you'll be able to download all that stuff. You'll be able to see old memories. Your ancestors will finally be able to talk to you like they've been trying to. Okay. All right. So one thing that you can take uh, right now today, if you go buy it in whatever form, I like, I like the dropper form of the magnesium, but magnesium and magnesium is an important mineral that is necessary for overall health benefits of these supplements range from, you know, fighting inflammation, lowering blood pressure and possibly improving sleep. So if you want to take something, you're going to have to take magnesium because most of us are magnesium deficient and if you understand that we are a people who who in our truest state we had a higher magnesium content in our blood and now we have higher iron than magnesium in our blood which is why we're rusted then you're going to need to take magnesium as well okay so magnesium is going to be helping you out i'm not going to tell you where to get it from all right um but you can definitely get some magnesium from somewhere you gotta do is look it up on Amazon and go grab some magnesium. All right. Magnesium does help you. Lavender oil does work. Um, diffusers work. If you got a diffuser, something like this, right? So if you got a diffuser like this, and you and you like, you know, I used to get these away on my website. I should start again, right? All right. And like this, you, you get it if it was like that, and you you go ahead and put some drops of lavender oil in there, plug that bad boy into the wall. And, you know, you can change up the energy of the of the room. But it's very important that before you go to bed, you change up the entire energy entirely. OK, the next thing that you can take before you go to bed is I have this one, ashwagandha and can uh, improve the quality of sleep. It helps with the treatment of insomnia. OK, and leaves in the leaves in the plant concoction, which contains something I'm not going to try to pronounce promote sleep induction. So um, basically, ever since I learned this, I because what my go-to before I go to sleep is this, because I, I don't have problem with sleep, but people do tell me that when they take ashwagandha before bed, it helps them out. So um, I tell people to take ashwagandha before bed and when they wake up in the morning, okay? And if you don't know where to get this from, you better you better, you better better ask somebody who got this ashwagandha. That'd be me, intensityfitnessunited.com. You new here? Anyway, um, Another another thing you could take is black seed oil. Black seed oil really helps you me out. Um, okay, so what you have to do in your diet, right? And I know I go all over the place. That's just how I get down. All right, I'm very high energy. Um, you have to increase your fat intake. Now, for somebody, huh? for somebody, yes, you can give this to children. Yes, just but give them half the dosage. Whenever it's a child, you can give it to children, but give them always half the dosage okay now for your diet a better rested state you're going to have to increase more increase your fat content nuts seeds oils avocados things like that and lower your carb intake okay you're going to have to stop eating starchy carbs okay your carbs that you're eating you have to stop bread like you gotta stop bread altogether. I don't care, especially if you're somebody who is like really like got you got weight issues. 
Like you got to stop bread. You're not going to be able, like, I'm telling you, all bread does is turn to sugar. And if you want to know what happens to bread inside of your body, try eating a slice of bread in under one minute. I bet you can't do it. I bet you can't do it. So imagine what happens when it goes into your, your body. And what happens is bread turns to straight up sugar that has to be processed through your body. I don't think you know where it goes. It goes throughout your whole body. So you got to chill with the bread, y'all. You got to chill with the bread. It should, it should be, you know, it should be common sense to chill with all the other cakes, cookies, and snacks, but you're not going to get to the other realms if you're still eating like a cyborg. Okay. You got to understand this war against us starts what we put into our own bodies. So we're basically taking the 45 or the shotgun and we're putting it right to our stomach and we're pulling the trigger every single time we eat a chip or a cookie and all that stuff. Okay. Now, what I've also noticed when I started fasting about five years ago, I started doing intermittent fasting five years ago, that when you eat for once a day and you eat within an hour or two, your sleep quality is better. So let's say if you eat around about 3 or 4 p.m. and you eat all the food that you can, right, all the good natural food that you can, and you're not going to, if it's, if it's healthy for you, you're not going to be able to eat a whole lot because why? You're ghrelin. And your leptin is basically working properly. So your leptin, your satiety, and your ghrelin, your hunger, okay? So your ghrelin is telling you that you're not hungry, and your leptin is telling you that you're full, all right? So it's working properly because you're eating things that are made for the body, which does not throw these hormones off, all right? So it's very important to make sure you do that, all right? Next, what am I missing? What am I missing, okay? Oh, man, here's a good one. Okay. Now, also, it lowers testosterone, fellas. So when you get about four or six hours of sleep, a man that is 30, okay, does not get sleep. He has the T levels of an elder. So you and your grandpa share the same testosterone levels. That's why you got breasts right now. That's why you got fat arms. That's why you like you about eight months pregnant. That's why you can't get it up. That's why you ain't seen your penis in seven months. That's why. Because your testosterone levels are basically lowering and you don't really know what's going on. You're like, yo, I can't. I got to take this. I got to take that. But you sit in here chasing money all damn day. Testosterone levels are, are lowering. You can't remember because your brain is supposed to clean itself out every night. But it can't because you're not giving it a proper amount of time. And you know, do you know, do you know when your brain actually flushes and cleans itself because you know how the body detoxes itself right i'm giving you all a lot today too but do you know how the body detoxes itself right well the brain also detoxes itself at night as well but guess when that's done in the second half of sleep but if you're never getting to the second half of sleep how can your brain work efficiently and people who make money Always like the pride, you get less sleep, get less sleep, get less sleep. I work on two hours sleep. I'm cool. Fuck you. I get eight hours of sleep and I'm cool too because I know the science of the human body and the human body does not put muscle on in the daytime. <laughs> so people who you go, you go work out and you get your whole little two to four hours of sleep. You ain't gaining no muscle, y'all. Just so y'all know, you're not gaining muscle, all right? So if you're somebody who's looking to put muscle on, then I suggest you get more sleep. All right. Because somebody, okay, so, okay. So all people of color have something in common. We have melanin. And then you have one person who has feel melanin, right? And this one person makes all of the education on how to take care of human body. How that sound to you? How that sound to y'all, right? How that sound to you? You mean tell me, this one person that does not have this one substance that all other races on the planet have made all education which people follow, like the whole breakfast is the most important meal of the day. They basically made that slogan to sell more cereal. So people who are, what are they called? Not the politicians, 
but the people who basically sell the cereal made this slogan up so you can buy more cereal or dairy got in bed with these people so they can tell you that more milk does the body good. Now we find out 30 years later, it does not that just not do the body good. It causes osteoporosis because we're not a 200 pound baby calf. Hmm? That sounds strange to me too, right? And these people who only care about the bottom line, which is M-O-N-E-Y, have lied to you for an entire life, right? Yep, milk causes osteoporosis. Also has something called recumbent bovine growth hormone. So as the mother is pumping all that pus and blood out that makes your body good, it, they add a little concoction in there, which is called recumbent bovine growth hormone, which gives your children their asthma and their eczema. And all they got to do is stop drinking milk and eating cheese and watch what goes away in their human body. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, y'all like, yo, okay. So a couple of things that you can do before bed that will improve upon your sleep. One, give yourself at least a half an hour of quiet. Meditate, sit in a quiet place, if it's your room, and get some candles. I got a good connect on candles too. So if y'all want some candles, hit me up. I got a good connect on candles, all right? All right, hit me up. I got you, all right? Because I got a good connect on candles. They smell good, they're healthy, they're straight, all right? You can meditate under some, get some candles before you go to bed, and you just sit there and you let, let all the thoughts run out your mind. And what, what, what happens is when you meditate, everybody's trying to kick all the thoughts of their mind. By trying to kick all the thoughts, people, you're bringing more in. But just let them come through and be the observer of all the thoughts, right? Before you go to bed. Put down the cell phone, okay? At least in a half an hour or hour before bed, or if you're going to be watching it, in the cell phone, look at it like this, all right? Look at it like this, right? So you don't tell your pineal gland that it's daytime when it's really 10 o'clock, okay? Another thing you can do is put on some good meditation music. I'm going I'm to I'm share with y'all my favorite meditation music. It's called, if you actually go on YouTube and you type in Tibetan meditation music, you'll have a guy with an orange robe, okay, meditating. And this uh, video is... 11 hours and 55 minutes long, so you'll be straight. And you want to play it all night, you can, but it, it actually allows for a good sleep. Um, you can also play binaural beats, binaural beats. In the beginning, when I used to go to sleep, and I couldn't sleep in the beginning of my journey, the spiritual journey, when I was really unhealthy and I was changing my diet, I used to put binaural beats in my ears. Okay, because binaural beats, you have one frequency here, you have another frequency here. It goes and heals the brain for whatever you're trying to heal the brain with. And I used to go to sleep uh, with binaural beats, okay? So that will help you out greatly um, for your sleep, y'all. Hold on, y'all. I need y'all to shoot me some more likes. Can y'all can y'all, can y'all, y'all hit the like button for me, please? Hit the like button. I need some likes. What's up? All right? People in the room, I need some likes. What's up? Can y'all give me some likes? I'm trying to give y'all some things to help y'all out. All right? This info will work for you. You'll be fine. I'm telling you right now, okay? You'll be straight. Um, do we have any questions before I get out of here? Because that's all about that's about all I got with the sleep. Oh, matter of fact, I could talk about a couple of things right real quick. It's about what starts to happen to you, or what's happened. I could talk about what's happening to me in sleep. Okay. So my dreams are becoming so real. I look forward to sleep, right? I look forward to sleep. I'm going to places that many people would never even believe. Only the people who are going to those places would believe them. But if you've never experienced sleep in a way where you're supposed to be like, because in this particular time, the reason why we're able to experience certain things 
is because us as melanated people are starting to wake up. We're evolving. We're, our DNA is starting to wake up. And right now, I would say it's about between 3 and 10% full capacity. But every single year or every single day, we're moving up a percentage and a percentage and a percentage. Some of us are becoming more telepathic. Some of us are becoming more of an empath. Some of us are starting to astral project, remote view. I've done all those things, right? So I'm telling you right now, you must avoid certain things before you go to bed. One is sugar. Two is bread, which turns to sugar. Okay? I'm telling you right now. All right? What happened? What, what's going on? Can y'all hear me? So I'm going on my live. What's up? What's up? So I'm going on my live. Everybody everything good? What's up? Let me go ahead and fast forward. Let me see. Somebody said those damn reptilians. What's up? What's going on? I need y'all to let me know. Am I frozen or what? Let's see. Am I frozen? Am I good? What's up? Okay. It's just, okay. It's just that person. All right. I was just, I was just checking to make sure. Okay. But like I said, um, yeah, uh, you know, the, okay. So when you, so, okay. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Animal mentality. Before I get into what, ha what was happening, what can happen to you or right, what's happening to me, which what can happen to you? Cause we're our, we are family is if you oversleep, some of these things will happen as well. Okay. So 12 to 14 hours of sleep. You don't need that unless your body is going through an extreme healing state. Like, 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 let's say you injured or you had surgery, your body may need more time to rest, but if you're good or something like that, you don't need but eight hours of sleep. And if you wake up in the morning after eight hours of sleep and you don't feel well rested, I would check your diet because your diet normally throws off that state. Okay. That state. All right. Okay. So waking up with headaches can also symbolize your pineal gland starting to activate as well. Wake up with headaches right here or right here sometimes. Your pineal gland. All right. Okay. Your pineal gland. So sleeping for 10 hours a day, after you go over that, that, that threshold, you're not going to feel rested. You're not, you're going to feel still drained because you're doing something that you're not supposed to be doing like all the time. You're not supposed to be sleeping like that. You're supposed to have a better diet, which would not. Okay. So your diet is supposed to be better than what it is. And eight hours is all, is all you're supposed to have. Eight hours is, is, is good for you. If your diet is straight and you're not eating all throughout the day, because when you eat for eight hours and then you sleep for eight hours, that's not going to be a good thing. So I would suggest you eat for four to six hours at the most, sleep for eight, function for the rest of the day, burn off the fat, constantly let your glucose convert your carbohydrates into energy. You know what I'm saying? Or your carbohydrates convert into glucose and, gl and glucose converts your food to energy and you'll be good. Okay. You'll be good. But let's get back to the experiences. Um, last week I went to this place, like a high, it was like a high council. It was like a round table in like this realm with a bunch of people that I felt like was family. I'm, I'm, I'm in, in my, in my, I don't want to say dream in my travel state. I'm meeting a lot of people who I have not seen for a long time. And they're like family. And this is what can start happening to you because this earthly family is really not your real family. They were just here in your rearing stages, but they're only the blood tie tied to the physical body, the avatar, which you live in. The real family is your extraterrestrial family that you're vibing with on earth or are watching your back where they are on their planet, right? Yes, I'm a star seed. Yes. And many of you are star seeds because many of us are not from here. And right. And like, we're just doing this experience to help our planet earth and all that stuff, you know, or some of us just coming to experience planet earth because planet earth is like the action. It's like, it's like planet Earth is like the love and hip hop of the galaxy right now. Like it's crazy. You know, it's, it's nothing but drama here all freaking time. You know, so that's what planet Earth is. And, you know, it's it's under attack, but we really got everything under control. Just believe it or not. We got everything under control, like for real. So when y'all think things are destitute, 
we got everything under control, y'all. Just so y'all know, okay? Because it's a bunch of family members out here doing the work they got to do. And, uh, you you know, we're just talking to you, telling you, brother and sister, you got to do this work. If you want to get to this point, you got to do this work. We're not better than you. We're just your family just trying to help you out. When it comes down to it, I love y'all. So, like, you know, I'm compelled to help my family. You ever, like, realize when, like, sometimes your family becomes, like, unbearable sometimes. Like, I still got to help them. Like, this is my family. Y'all my family. You know what I mean? Simple as that. You know what I mean? Yes, star seeds. Yes, we are. Yes, we are here to bring balance, you know? And many of you are star seeds. Much of you who found my videos and resonate with me are not terrestrial spirits. You are extraterrestrial spirits, okay? Definitely, okay? And dopamine does not have an impact on sleep. No, it doesn't. But you'll probably read an article somewhere that says it does, but I don't believe that it does, okay? Yeah, I do not believe that dopamine does, okay? Um, but yeah, like, uh, like these play, oh, this one time, right. I went to this planet and I had never, I could not, I could not even have imagined this planet in my, like my wildest dreams. And that's how you know that you're actually traveling because you're going to places that you couldn't even imagine existed, which that's when, you know, you go into a dope spot. I remember, um, Kalindi had talked about this place. That he went to when he did like 30 grams of shrooms and he went to this place called the quantum realm like you ever seen that movie ant-man and it was like a quantum realm where like he was like a microscopic being he went to a place like that because when you do shrooms you're there in the experience for like 8 to 10 to 12 hours um so when you go and travel to places that you've never seen before it's like that like you're playing you're going to a place you never could imagine i went to this place it was like a road and everything like it made like when i was there i knew that it made sense when i was there but when i came back in my human experience of understanding it didn't make any sense at all I'm like what the f that was normal because in my higher level state all the unexplainable is totally 100 explainable right so i went there and it was like this giant skull with teeth Right. But it was a giant skull. And I guess I was on the I was on a, a particular earth with giants. I didn't see any giants, but I did see that, you know, um, but I've been to a lot of places and I know y'all can go, too. And I know that you're going to start going to some of these places within about a week's time. If you follow my advice for real. Um, so what you should take before you go to bed, if you like have trouble going to sleep, black seed oil, ashwagandha, heritaki, magnesium. Uh, another one is mugwort. Another one is kava kava. Another one is uh, Demiana. These things will help you go to sleep. You don't got to take them all at one time. But uh, just having these things in your system will definitely help you because the more nutrients that you uh, have in your diet, the more fats that you have in your diet, the better quality of sleep. Now, um, I didn't really do the, I didn't really look this up, but common sense of fat and brain, the brain operates more efficiently when your diet has more fat. So that would let me know that if your brain, obviously your body is getting more fat, your brain, which is responsible for how deep you travel because your pineal gland sits in your brain will be working more efficiently. That will help you. So things like avocados, nuts, seeds, um, uh, nut milks, these things like that. So I'm telling you right now, this will help you out greatly for real, for real. All right. So yeah, man. Also, before I leave here, we have like a, a monster site a sale going on, on our site. Mostly everything is discounted for the weekend. It's going to be discounted until Sunday. So jump on it before it's sold out because um, our soap is basically sold out right now. It's coming back on Monday, though. So so grab it. Uh, Maka, Moringa, Makuna, Heritaki, Ashwagandha, Shilajit, Banafsha, all that stuff. Um, I'm telling you, it really helps. Stuff really helps. Okay. Oh, okay. That's a good question, Timothy. So um, I wrote this down somewhere too. Um, this counts for everybody's. Everybody. Okay. So your magnesium intake should be three to five hundred milligrams a day. Okay. For the other things, for fats, you have to do your carbohydrate. You have to do your. your um, I think. I used to have a macronutrient calculator on my site, but if I don't have it anymore, I don't remember. It's been so long ago. You can go to a macronutrient calculator online 
and you can basically type in your macronutrients so you can understand how much fat you should be intaking throughout the day. People who are on keto have um, purported better sleep as well. So if you're somebody who does keto, you probably sleep well because you have a high fat content. I just didn't like keto because it wasn't it wasn't for me. Okay, uh, ashwagandha. Okay, this basically it has a serving size on the back of the thing, so you don't really. All my supplements have a serving size. Okay, and we got sea moss gummies on deck. So if y'all want any sea moss in a gummies, you can go ahead and get that too. But um, somebody asked um, any discounts for veterans? Discounts for everybody? Is African Must coming back? Not right now. Not right now. It's coming back soon, but I don't know when. I'm working on something else right now. Uh, any other questions before I get out of here? Somebody said intentional sleep whenever I think about, oh, that's a good, okay. So one of the most important things about having these types of experiences is the intention that you set upon having them before bed. If you understand that you are extraterrestrial demigod or God or whatever you want to call yourself, you will understand that you can command them to come see you when you're ready. So what I would do if I was you, okay, is I would start writing in a journal before bed about what kind of dream you're about to have. And I would set the intention for meeting something or having, like what I usually do before bed is I have, I set an intention to have a dream that I've never had before and an experience I've never had before. And I basically wait for it to happen. So I set an intention, but never an expectation, okay? And Timothy, if you want a consultation, okay, you can go to my website and you can book consultation at intensityfitnessunited.com. You can go down to the very bottom and you can book consultation, okay? That's how you don't, you just can't. I know I had put my number on here a long time ago, but I don't pick up numbers I don't know because you just can't call me. It doesn't work that way. Like I got, I'm, I be doing shit. I got a family and things like that. It doesn't work that way. You know, I give you my undivided attention when it's a consultation and you rather have that than me just doing stuff and talking to you. It doesn't work that way. Okay. So that's, that's how we do that. Um, but yeah, y'all, um, that's pretty much what I got for today. You know what I mean? Um, and if anybody, if you missed a live universe, the guy just, just run it back. Like he said, just run it back. And, uh, I hope that I hope that y'all get better sleep because y'all missing out on these downloads. Uh, when you wake up in the morning and you, you have to be consistent with this, y'all gotta be consistent. You can't just like, you can't just like get sleep one good night and think it's going to like work. You have to tell your body that you've entered into a a great a great cycle because your body does what you tell it to do. You're telling it to throw itself off. It's going to throw itself off trying to survive. All your body wants to do is survive. So your downloads will improve when your brain does because your brain is the receiver of all the information from other realms. Your pineal gland is the receiver. It's in your brain. So your brain has not working efficiently and your body is the first brain. Your stomach is the first brain behind your um, your solar plexus, okay? Where your subconscious mind lives. So uh, besides that, I love y'all. If y'all need anything, go to the website, support. I don't ask for donations. I just ask for support. And somebody said, isn't that a premonition? What is he, what is he referring to? I don't know what he's for. I don't know what he's referring to. Um, but yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Y'all need a consultation, book it, but I don't ask for donations, I just ask you to support. Uh, and you're getting something in exchange, a tangible thing that can really help you out because all my supplements are, are banging. They're good. I know it. Oh, one more thing. Somebody says, should you be waking up around four or five in the a.m.? Yes, you can. You don't have to, but you can. But if you wake up at four or five a.m., you should go to bed at about eight to nine p.m. OK, I go to bed at the latest at 10 a.m. 10 p.m. Sorry, 10 p.m. Okay, so uh, yeah, yeah. If you want to go to, if you want to wake up earlier, you should go to bed earlier. As I get older, I get, I, I want to go to bed early. I don't feel like being up all night anyway. You know, like when you get older, you don't feel like being. Like I tried it a couple of times, 
like go out with people like I don't like I don't know how y'all do that. I'm 38 years old. I don't know how people that are still my age hang out all night. It just doesn't work for me. I'm connected. My circadian rhythm is connected to this this earth. So when the earth goes to sleep, I go to sleep because we are what they call the sun people. But our pineal gland, which causes us to travel, is most active at night, right? So we need to go to sleep with the sun. Stop eating after the sun goes down. We do like as a people, we did not eat at night. Okay. We ate with the sun. Okay. We ate with the sun. All right. And you have to eat and sleep with the sun. That's our natural state. All right. So yeah, definitely. Somebody say took my <laughs> nail my girl to the cross. Oh my God. <laughs> Whenever I sleep facing a wall. I experience sleep paralysis. Okay, take it a step further and go astral project because sleep paralysis is the first step of astral projecting. And um, new wave, when we all go to sleep, we all experience sleep paralysis when we're asleep. Sleep paralysis is so we don't act out our dreams in the physical body. It protects us. If we did not all go in sleep paralysis, we'd be walking in our dream. We'd be walking in our sleep, sleepwalking, punching our wives, punching our husbands, punching these things. You know what I mean? We'd be punching them. You know, like, so we have to have sleep paralysis. The problem is some of us occasionally wake up in sleep paralysis. And then what happens is to trigger out of sleep paralysis, your adrenaline has to increase and your heart starts to race and your, brain, your, your body's like, whoa, I'm awake. Oh, shoot. Let me get out of sleep paralysis. And then you start feeling your hands and your legs and all that stuff like that. Okay. Definitely. Um. So, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Look into that. Yeah, look into that, man. Look into that, Reginald. Um, but yeah, besides that, I'm gonna get out of here. Hope y'all enjoy your nights. Follow my instructions. If you're late to this video, make sure you run it back. See, that's there you go, Reginald. See, you know, um, and but look up some of the stuff I said, you know, don't just take my word for it. Everything I said is true. Look it up, and uh, you'll have a great experience. You know, maybe you add something to the party, but I love y'all. I'm going to see y'all soon to the next video.